Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Egan, of course. Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you. Another offering. Off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks. Sampler platter view series videos I've been doing for a little while. I'll go over there and try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, then, folks. Eh, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that... Tell them I'm doing this, folks. I'm not going to lie. I swear I'll get my snapping back at some point. I kind of... I lost it a little bit because I went over there. I had an infection in one of my fingers, and it kind of screwed up my rhythm. But, like, I'll get it back. But anyway, folks, it's super simple format. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try out food and or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm yammering about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside my truck. And whilst I'm doing all that, folks... I'm wearing grody work clothes. Typically, when I'm inside the truck and I'm wearing grody work clothes, that means that I was on my way home from work and I found some shit to review for you. And that's definitely the case today, although I do have to mention, I have been searching for this particular item. What item is it? Why have I been searching for it? What are we doing here, folks? Well, it happens to be from, boom, from Celsius. This is not just any Celsius, though. Celsius Live Fit Sparkling cherry cola energy drink yeah okay let's get a, a thing for the thing i it no the lighting's terrible yeah ha 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 but yeah okay so i've reviewed some stuff from celsius these are one of these like sort of quasi health oriented energy drinks where it's less about the caffeine and more about all the extra shit zero sugar gluten free it's kosher no high fructose corn syrup, no aspartame, no artificial, blah, 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 essential vitamins, all that bullshit. Sure, why the fuck not? I'm not here for any of that. I'm here to go over there and tell you how it tastes. Now, the thing is, I've been looking, uh, trying to find this one because it's another reviewer. Uh, his channel goes by Nathan Fast Talk Food Reviews. And I've gone over there. I've mentioned his channel, you know, any number of times before. Uh, Nathan does really good work. And he is kind of like the energy drink guy, you know, even more so than myself. And he went over there and he got a hold of this. And he went over there and did a review, like, I think like a month ago or maybe even a little bit longer. And it was intriguing to me. So I've been looking for it, finally found it. So let's give it a go. And if nothing else, definitely check out Nathan's channel. Uh, especially if my stuff is a bit too long-winded for you. He'll, he'll, he'll definitely work for you, I think. I mean, it smells like a cherry cola. Let's give it a go. Oh. It almost tasted like a cherry cola. Um, that actually came really close. Now, the funny thing is, for those of you who might remember, uh, Coca-Cola had an energy drink. Actually had a few different flavors. I may or may not still have some of those. Uh, yeah, they came out, and I want to say, like, maybe, like, 2018, 2019. And it was their whole Coca-Cola Energy brand. It was a whole thing that they did for a little while. And, uh, you know, it wasn't super successful. You know, eventually it faded out. Uh, that's when we got the uh, Coca-Cola coffee stuff, which wasn't super successful and faded out. Unfortunately, I actually really like the Coke with coffee stuff. But, yeah, um... This kind of reminds me of that a little bit, but it's sort of different. Because um, with that, they seem to really want to go over there and properly blend the flavors of their cola products into an energy drink. With this, it almost tastes more like they're trying to have it taste just like a cherry cola, but then sort of shoehorn in the energy drink aspects. And it kind of works and it kind of doesn't. Because the initial flavor is actually pretty nice. And actually tastes pretty dang close to a cherry cola. Like a diet cherry cola. But still, not leagues off. You know, like it's recognizable as having cola flavor with cherry. But, this is where the issue comes in. Because whereas, again, with the Coke Energy drink, you know... They, the, the whole point was to try to really fuse the flavors together. With this, because it does feel more shoehorned in, you get those remnants of the energy drink aspect that 
aren't the tastiest. And that, especially on the tail end, you do get this sort of, sort of, it's kind of a combination energy drink and then also zero sugar. Because I'm pretty sure this is zero sugar, is it? Yeah, zero sugar. It's kind of a, a little bit of that, you know. So, and I'm guessing it's probably, you got to be uh, sweetened with sucralose, right? Sucralose, yep. Yeah, it makes sense. So, the initial experience is surprisingly nice. Uh, you know, again, nice, decent, you know, cherry cola flavor, kind of diet end of things, you know, not as vibrant as, like, the proper stuff, but, you know, recognizable. But then, you start getting these little peek-throughs of, you know, just, again, it's like, ah, I can taste kind of the zero sugar, ah, I can taste, you know, the kind of little bit of the energy drink aspect to it. It's not egregious, but it's not, it's definitely not the best part of the experience for me. It is surprising, mm. yeah, that aftertaste, that, that, not even aftertaste, that ending taste is just really, that's what really kind of kills it for me. Because up until that point, it's pretty nice. But you get that, that final hit of it, and it's just, that's when it, it almost takes on like a slightly bitter, you know, almost medicinal kind of taste to it. It's got a kind of a weird, you know, finish. It's not the best. Um, it's not a bad drink, I guess. It's just, I feel like this is one of those things where it's a good idea. I feel like we're still a little bit far away from it. But I'll commend him. Uh, one thing I do have to give them credit for, although you do get, again, glimpses of the zero sugar aspect, I'm surprised at how well they actually manage to make that work in this capacity, because usually when they go to hide that zero sugar flavor, they prefer, like, tart flavors to kind of cover it up. In this case, it feels like they just kind of gave the cherry aspect a little extra oomph, so it's got a little extra tartness to it, but not a lot. And, excuse me, that with the cola... Seems to have actually done a pretty good job. Ugh. Other than that, it drinks pretty nice. Not as nice as an actual cherry cola, but... Yeah, 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 yeah. Credit where it's due. Um, two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? Ah, uh, On occasion, and sure. Like, you know, Celsius is a fine brand. It's not anything close to my favorite. Uh, I, you know, I'm more of a traditional energy drink guy. I, I don't give a shit about all, like, the extra supposed benefits. I just want to be crammed full of caffeine and, you know, not taste like rotting anus. If you do that for me, chances are I'm probably going to be on your side. So, all the extra stuff, like I said, that doesn't really come into play for me. But the flavor is, you know, what I'm working with here. And I do have to commend them, again, like, I think they did a pretty good job with the flavor while also working within their wheelhouse. Do I think that it could be tweaked? Do I think it be, can be improved? Absolutely. But I do still kind of like it, and it's the only one that I'm aware of, you know, again, taking that cherry cola aspect, turning it into an energy drink, with, again, the exception of the uh, Coca-Cola energy drink. I, I do kind of like it for what it is. It would never be a go-to for me, but on occasion I could see myself grabbing it if I'm recommending it. Yeah, sure. Like, if, especially if you are, you know, one of these people who, you know, you are more into the, again, like these newer, this new generation energy drinks. Let's, let's just call it what it is, you know. If you're not about Monster and Red Bull and, you know, you want these things that, again, you know, they, all this extra stuff or whatever, Celsius is a decent brand and this is a decent flavor, you know. Where it fits into people's lives, I don't know. For me, it fits because I do a review show, and I like to try things. So, like, but if you're not that person, and you're not doing what I do, do you get it because you want a cherry Coke, or do you get it because you want a sort of energy drink, or do you get it... I don't know. I don't know exactly where it fits, but I will say again, it's not a bad tasting overall experience. Not anything you need to go out of your way for, but pretty good. Five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of your week. Monumental rest of your month. Dependence rest of your year, folks. Go out there. So it's a truly proper cherry cola task the rest of your life. Whether it's Pepsi with their wild cherry or Coca-Cola. Can we... I mentioned this in, a, in another review. Can we get the cool 
like black and red, like fractured, super cool looking cherry coke cans back, please. I hate the cherry coke design now. They, they decided to go all fancy schmancy. Look, I'm not gonna go over there and say that everything in the '90s was fantastic. That's when I grew up, you know. But you can pick and choose a little bit, right? You know, you can take some of the things of today and, you know, look back to some of the things from the past, some of the things from the past, you know, just go over there and be like, all right, you know, I'd like to, I think it made the damn stuff taste better. I really do. Cherry Coke used to be a real special thing. Now it's just a bit blase. But anyway, final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity into the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated, but... What you do if you can't do it all the time, I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there every day with you in it. Life can be stressful and frustrating and just bullshit sometimes, folks. And when we find ourselves in situations where we have to deal with said bullshit, it's important we go over there whenever possible. Take a step back. Try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives. Hopefully do better for ourselves, and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, uh, what's your personal favorite cherry cola? You know, it's one of those things, like, it's, you know, it's a, you know, an offshoot, but, like, at the same time, it's become fairly synonymous. The, the two, obviously, the big two are, of course, Coke and Pepsi. But, you know, RC has a cherry flavor as well. I'm trying to think off the top of my head. Well, there's like, there's some, uh, what was it, Signature Select from Juul. They have a, a cherry cola. It's not usually one that the, uh, like, the generic brands, you know, make their way into. But I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on it. Do you remember the original red and black uh, cherry Cokes? And if you do, are you with me on this one? You should bring it back. I think so. Anyway, 